What's up folks, Knesku here and I'm bringing the first review to the other review, overall review to the new Gideon skin, the Inquisitor skin. So Gideon finally got his first real skin besides the Challenger skin and the good thing you see right now is they changed the hand and back uh, effects, like the green one really doesn't fit because it's like a purple uh, uh, yeah, and in the master skin it's mixed, it's like his hands got this blue color and this back still um, the purple and here we got red on his hand and red on his back uh, for the um, yeah warp whatever effect, you, you know what I mean, you, you get it, but it's still purple at the end of the day in the match as you can see right now though. anyway uh, let's talk about the skin so I really really like the color scheme they got there so they bring this white gold red uh, color scheme uh, he got um, really this blood red on his forehead and uh, below his arms uh, looking like blood but probably it's like some kind of war paint but really great looking I think it's for me it's the most favorite color scheme that Gideon has at the moment uh, beside his classic one, I like this one very well. And uh, since Mages got a little buff, we will hopefully see a few more Gideons and especially a few more Inquisitors Gideons in the game. Uh, there you can see it again, like what I'm talking about the uh, you know, lower part of his arms or the inner part of his arms got some, some blood pain there. Um, yeah, it took some time until Gideon got some love. Uh, he is one of the poster boys, one of those five focus characters in the beginning. Uh, it took some time until he got a skin. There's still a uh, twin blast without a real uh, uh, re recolor. I think that he got one skin, but it's uh, exclusively to the PlayStation uh, physical disc version of Paragon at the moment, and it's not available in Europe. And that's where I am. So. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, there, there's no there's no difference between uh, anything else but the colors because it's obviously a tier one skin, and they don't change too much there, but enough to, you know, make it worth the 500 credits more or less. So uh, it's always up to you. But that's why I'm doing this reviews to bring you an idea of what this character, what the skin look in game, so you get an idea if it's worth your credits or not. I personally bought it, obviously, otherwise I couldn't show you those in-game or in-match uh, footage here, but um, I don't blame Gideon that much though. By the way, they see they changed the uh, his Q to one big hit instead of damage over time. Also good, but the damage stays the same, so he's a bit more deadly, he's a bit more quicker in that damage case. Uh, yeah, anyway, there's nothing much to say about that skin though. Um, you can check out my other skin reviews I've did so far. Uh, I will do them to everyone. Like I said, this one is coming with the... or showed up in the point .30 version released a few t days ago. And they will keep coming with those great skins. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. I really like that skin and uh, I can't wait for a tier 2 skin of like each character for now my t2 skins are the, the tier 2 skins are the favorite for me in uh like almost everyone every t2 skin they brought maybe the murder one is not that good but uh well it doesn't have that many changes on it obviously so yeah i hope it gives you a better idea of what uh, the gideon inquisitor skin looks in game so you can have a better uh, idea of if it's worth your credits or not and um yeah, so far that's it from my side. Uh, I'll leave you with a bit more footage here and see you in the next video. Be sure to check out my channel for more reviews to skins. My name is Knasko and I'm out.